Do I have a story for you? I was my school's gossip girl in some sort of way. Not me alone, um, me and five of my bestest friends. Half of this video is gonna be me right now filming this on April 23rd. We have been the school's gossip girl for three months now. We've kept it a secret, nobody knows who we are. We call ourselves Splash Girl. How we pulled it off, how Splash Girl came about. If you guys are watching this from my school, hey guys, um, it was all in good fun. It all started one, one fateful night. My parents weren't here, so I invited my five friends. We were just having a girls' night. We were um, sitting around, we were eating a bunch of food. One of the girls says to us, oh, I just, um, I was watching Gossip Girl today, and everybody's just like, oh my gosh, I love Gossip Girl, of course, like girls do. We love Gossip Girl. So we first were talking about that. And then this game called Water Assassins was coming up at my school. If you don't know what Water Assassins is, I have a video on that. That will be down below. But long story short, it's a game that lasts for months where um, you have a target and you have to try to squirt them with the water gun. And if you squirt them, they're out. You get a kill. That's the short version, but there's definitely a lot more that has to do with it. What if we had a gossip girl for our school for Water Assassins because sometimes people are gonna be out and about. You want to get them killed by their um, assassins um, so that the game gets smaller and you have a better chance of winning. So <laughs> we started Splash Girl. I have this shirt that says Splash Girl and I will get to that story in a second. I didn't just make it for this video. I made it for my school and I've already worn it to school before yet still no one knows. So let me pull up Splash Girl for you guys. It's been on a downhill climb. Nobody's really tweeted on Splash Girl for probably over a month just because um, we've gotten nervous about the fact that like half of us are still in the game. Don't want people to think that we're cheating somehow by being Splash Girl even though we've done literally nothing to get ahead. For people who don't play Water Assassins, you might not understand how intense it is to stay in the game. Um, we've gotten a lot of people saying that Splash Girl makes things up. Dude, I have so many freaking different DMs, so many different people at the school about their friends, about their enemies, about their exes, about everything, their whereabouts, where they live, what car they drive, where they work. We did not think anybody would follow it. If we thought it would become anything, we probably would have thought more through our profile pictures and our headers, but we made this profile picture. We made this header, one of my friends just wrote this out on Snapchat, and we created the description. We were trying to be so dramatic and acting like we were Gossip Girl because we didn't know that it would actually catch on, so we were just being as like dramatic as possible, and like every tweet we wrote, every description we wrote, um, we wrote it with Gossip Girl's voice in our head. Hey TO Water Assassins players, looking for your target? Check this account for leaks on where people are. DM me with any locations and it will be tweeted. So there's an official Water Assassins Twitter page where the coordinators tweet off of it, the kills and stuff like that. So we went through the followers on there and followed everybody. We sent out our first tweet, um, which was, Hey Lancers, looking for your target? Welcome to your one and only source into the scandalous lives of Thousand Oaks High Schools a week. DM me on any info you have on players' whereabouts. I won't be posting during school hours to comply with Water Assassin's rules, which I don't know if we actually did that, but right now, oh my gosh, I'm just looking at it. It has 11,195 impressions on Twitter. At this moment right now, April 23rd, three months later, we have 253 followers of our senior class, so Water Assassins is only played by our senior class. So it became the talk, let me tell you, at our school. And having six girls keep this secret, can you believe six people, six girls, kept a secret that we were Splash Girl for three months, and it's gonna be even longer because our yearbook doesn't come out for another month. We'd tweet things like, good morning, Lancers. Here's to another day of backstabbing and cold water kills. <laughs> Just remember, I have the roster and I know who's on your team. If you're trying to steer me in the wrong di direction for a teammate safety, I'm one step ahead. People come from across the country to get a taste of an In-N-Out burger. They may just run into blank, 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 who all work at the one in, in the city where they work. Um, go there, get your target, and eat some quality food. It's a win-win. Um, so we just do like puns and things like that. So people have talked to me at school about her, like who I think it is, and I'd be like, I have no idea. Probably either it's somebody who knows a lot of people or who knows nobody and just takes the DMs from people. I've had people tell me they know who Splash Girl is and I'd be like, oh my gosh, do you really? Like who? They'd give me a name and I'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah, you're probably right. So hard, but at the same time, so 
freaking easy and fun to just like be somebody that nobody knows you are. I mean, we had people, all sorts of people talking about it. I mean, the first, at least first week that Splash Girl was a thing, like so many different people were talking about this and it was just crazy that it had blown up to that proportion where we had 250 followers, everybody was talking about it. And we were sitting here getting no credit, but like that was fine because we were getting credit. I've had people DM about us and we, we tweet it right away. I mean, I've only been tweeted about once and I was safe. I was at a safe place. I actually made a video, guys, earlier um, about Splash Girl where I talked about Splash Girl in it, but I had to pretend that I wasn't Splash Girls because I have people at my school who watch my videos. We're getting to the shirt now. We had a costume day at a basketball game we were having at our school. And so um, I remember I was like, how funny would it be if I went as Splash Girl? And we don't know what Splash Girl looks like. I um, text my friend, Megan. I remember her talking about Splash Girl and she doesn't know about it. I wanted to tell like her and my friend Riley and like so many different people about it um, because I don't want them to think that like I kept it from them for this long. But like, if I started telling people like that, soon the whole school would know. So I said, are you wearing a costume? And she said, yeah, I don't really know what to be. And I was like, what if I'm Splash Girl and you're Splash Boy? And she's like, oh my gosh, yes, let's do it, iconic. And I'm like, yes. Because we made Splash Girl, there's actually a few other accounts that were made by different people that we don't know who they are. There was a Splash Boy, Splash God, Splash Kid, like people made other accounts to like kind of talk with Splash. Got these like gray shirts and we, we cut them at the bottom. She wrote Splash Girl across mine, she wrote Splash Girl across hers and I wore like little star glasses and we went to the basketball game and we got a lot of people saying oh my gosh you're splash girl oh. i would just say i'm splash girl the whole night and obviously nobody thought i was actually splash girl because who would out themselves within the first month of being splash girl also i have an announcement i'm splash girl i'm a baseball no, no, no. player oh my gosh you don't know um, there's that. It was pretty funny. Our yearbook contacted us like two months into it. We would love to have you on our Water Assassins page this year in our yearbook. And um, so I like text the girls. Oh my gosh, guys, they want to do an interview with us. So they just asked us questions over Twitter DMs. And we answered it as sassy as possible because we're not sassy girls. So we're like trying to be sassy, but it's just like probably doesn't work at all. So then like a few weeks ago, um, the yearbook DM'd Splash Girl again and said, would you consider coming out with your real name as Splash Girl in the yearbook? And at first we were like, no, we don't want anybody to know. We'll tell them at graduation so we don't have to deal with people um, like, I don't know, judging us or making fun of us. And then we thought deeper about it and we were like, we're six girls. Like it's not just one person, it's six girls. We did this because we thought it was so funny and so fun and we figured that we would put our names in the yearbook. Hopefully we have more people supporting us than not. Um, but of course now I sit in class and I look around and I'm like, uh, these people have no idea I'm Splash Girl. <laughs> I know you've DM'd about somebody before. I know what you've said to Splash Girl. I know you said something stupid to Splash Girl. Like, we know all of this stuff and we just can't say it to people. Since we started Splash Girl at our school, at least two schools that I know of around our area has also started their own version of Splash Girl. We did a really mean tweet um, to the first person who, um, copied Splash Girl because they made their own Splash Girl at a different school and that school's known for being rich and we were just being petty. Looks like daddy's money can't buy originality. Bleed green Lancers, the mascot on my school. Like almost exactly the same words. It got 90 likes from the people around us. So it made us feel like maybe people aren't gonna hate us. Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the video. It is currently May 23rd and the yearbook came out on Friday and it's Wednesday. So the secret has been out for about, I don't know, five days. While we were doing the whole game Splash Girl thing, it felt like a big deal. And it was a big deal at the time because there was a lot of people talking about it. So we really haven't been active for a while, so it's not as big of a shock anymore. I wanted to just come in and let you guys know about the reaction. So now pretty much everybody knows that my friends and I are Splash Girl. It 
came out in the yearbook this year. It was one of the three pages I was on in this year, including my senior shot and then one that my parents paid to be put in there. So basically you can see that I am really thriving in the community at my school. <laughs> so far, probably like five people have come up to me and talked to me about how we were Splash Girl. Nobody has said any mean things to my face, but I have had um, probably just like some kind of like weird looks or just like kind of vibes. I have a few videos that I will play now that is um, basically my friends reacting to me being Splash Girl and my friends being Splash Girl. I'll put a few in here. We had a crazy idea and um, <laughs> so we're a Splash Girl. Yeah, all six of us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. That's horrible. That's not fair. You <laughs> that was so good to yeah, say. That's not fair because you were in my group and we were talking about it. And now I just feel embarrassed. We made an account and yeah. we yeah. didn't think it would work. Yeah, we, we didn't think it would work. I'm more shook than my surprise party. Yeah. Yeah. How like, did you keep that from me? We didn't tell, uh, we we were, we didn't tell a soul. Yeah, see it to know that is so legit. fun. Yeah, we, we have a secret to tell you, okay? We did this thing and we're Splash Girl. What? <laughs> You're kidding, right? No. no. I mean, Remember? Why didn't you guys tell me? Because we didn't we tell we anyone. Were gonna tell. I didn't tell a soul. A okay. Does the yearbook know? Yeah, we do we now. We wrote a reveal page. Because Gavit confessed and said it was him. It's, it's not. not. You outed, Bailey outed herself and wore the Splash Girl shirt and you were Splash Boy. Do you remember that? And you didn't even realize Bailey was actually Splash Girl. Yeah, what the heck, <laughs> Bailey? I'm so mad at you guys. <laughs> really? Yeah. So who's Flash Boy? We have no idea. Everyone asked us that. We have no idea. It wasn't. How do you feel? I mean, I'm like shocked right now <laughs> because I never would have suspected this. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I that you're all here. You all look lovely today. Um, and like one thing that we did was that uh, we're Flash Girl. <laughs> I'm going through all the pages that I'm not in, but basically the title says Splash or Surrender. I did this whole thing and it looks like text messages. Hey dollface, rumor has it you want the scoop on me. I expect top-notch questions, so pick carefully. We were trying to be so freaking sassy and this is so cringy. Any last words? With graduation approaching, I thought it was time to come clean and say my farewell. So who am I? The question you should have been asking the whole time or who are we? We are my friend's name, my name. Thanks for letting us live out our Gossip Girl dream. Bleak Green Lancers. So that's pretty cool that we were able to influence our school so much that we got a page in the yearbook. Um, I know it was pretty cringy, but basically what I want to say is this has been an awesome experience and I had a lot of fun being Gossip Girl. I mean, who doesn't want to be Gossip Girl? I feel like it feels like you have like a lot of power and stuff and even though it wasn't like real gossip, it was just like water assassins which is just a stupid little game it was still fun to be a part of uh, I have a lot of videos coming up soon that I haven't filmed yet but you know I say I do so let's see what happens I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet let's get to 20,000 subscribers love y'all and see you later bye XOXO <laughs>